Shalom to you, dear brothers and sisters. I want to continue our series of messages about sanctification. This is a tool that God uses in order to sanctify us and help us in this process, the, this path that goes on. We are called to deny our sinful nature. It's a tool that God uses, and he talks about it in the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 17. John 17, 17. Yeshua is praying for the, his disciples and also for us. And he says, Sanctify them in the truth, for your word is truth. So how does God sanctify us? In the truth. In his word. The word of God, the Bible. New Testament. The Holy Scriptures. They are the word of truth. And as we read them, they shine the light into all kinds of areas in our lives. And they help us to be changed in this area in our life to be worked on. In this other area, by the grace of God, by the help of the Holy Spirit, He guides us what not to do, but also what yes to do. So the Word of God, as we read it, helps us to be sanctified. It helps us to be purified. Like it says in Ephesians 5, verse 26, Ephesians 5, 26, Yeshua said that He might sanctify her, the congregation, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the Word. And so Yeshua, when we came to faith in Yeshua, and we and that word washed us and sanctified her by washing water with the word. So that's a purification with the water of the word of God. It purifies us. So we are being sanctified, purified. We leave the world. The word of God continues to wash us. And then we are purified. We're washed. We ask forgiveness. We're cleansed of those things from this world that defile us. So the Word of God. Do I have time to read the Word of God? Do I read it and as a father bring it into my family, in my home, in the congregations, the Messianic congregations? What are people hearing? In the home groups, what are we hearing? Is the Word of God being read and taught? Or is it just a time of fellowship, for social time, eating cakes, drinking coffee, sitting around, talking about our experiences? It's good that there's food. It's good that they tell testimonies. But the Word of God, that is the power. It is the sort of Spirit that comes within our lives to purify us. And then I turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 11 to 13. 1 Thessalonians 3, 11 to 13. And now, may the God and Father Himself and the Lord Yeshua direct our way to you. And may the Lord cause you to increase and abound in love for one another and for all people, just as we also do for you, so that you may establish your hearts without blame in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Yeshua with all His saints. So these are the good news. That God, the Holy Spirit, he works within us, helps us to be blameless in holiness before God. The Word of God washes us, it teaches us, and afterwards He reminds us what we learned. He is our teacher, Holy Spirit within us. He helps us and teaches us. We don't want to grieve Him. So He prepares us so that we would be blameless in holiness before God and Father at the coming of our Lord Yeshua with all of His saints. Yeshua, He will return. It also says for us in chapter 5, verse 23, And now may the God of peace Himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be preserved complete without blame at the coming of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Faithful is He who calls you, and He will also bring it to pass. So these are encouraging words. The Lord works in us, prepares us. He wants us to be ready. He sanctifies us entirely with all these different three levels that we live in our spirit, in our soul, 
and our body. The body is the flesh. How do I eat? What do I wear? Everything like that. I want to dress humbly. I want to eat and not and overeat. I don't want to get drunk and everything, of course, connected to sexual and impurity, but also in our soul, in my thoughts, in my, my emotions. Am I angry? Am I impatient? Do I lack love? I want to grow in love and patience and all of the fruit of the Spirit. And also, what are my wills? How do I submit my will to God? All these things are in my soul, in my thoughts. Where do I look? What am I thinking about? What programs am I watching? So that's in our soul, in our spirit. What is my relationship with God like? Do I defile my soul, my spirit, with things of the world, the sins of the world? Or am I in a good relationship with my Father in Heaven? So may God help us then to continue this process to pursue holiness. So our life has been dedicated. It's the opening. And God in His grace, He sanctifies us. We have been sanctified to Him and dedicated. And now we need to live it out. We need to then are called to live it out. And the Holy Spirit helps us. But if we don't want to do it, and if we despise God, like it says, and if we continue on and don't listen to the warnings of the Holy Spirit, like we read in James chapter 4, God can become our enemy. We don't want to take lightly these things. There's a lot of teachings that cause the believers to rebel against God and doesn't challenge them and doesn't call them to continue on. So may God help us to apply these things. I wish you a blessed day. Shalom.